So I already have on my Elf Mineral Primer and I have on my um, NYX pencils and Milk all up here and Black Bean all um, down here. And I'm just trying to figure out how to kind of pull out that um, shimmery greenish color in here but it's just not coming out. It's, you probably can't see this because maybe you can. It's not just a flat gray. There's some green to it. And I've compared it with other grays that I have, but it's just not working. It's not working for me. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna pile on a whole bunch on my um on my brush, and I'm gonna put it on my lid, all over my lid. Um, I hope you guys can see. Something is wrong with my camcorder, so I'm using my um my laptop, and I really hope you guys can see. So I'm going to put it all over my lid and just a little bit into the crease. Just a little bit. I'm going to sweep it up a little bit into the crease. Because I don't have a lot of lid space. So I'm just going to sweep it up, kind of blend it into the crease. Okay, that's it. And you could just rock this just like this and just kind of blend out the edges put a little black in the crease or um I mean in the outer V but I wanted to try something else this is going to be my first look as I mentioned before so I'll see what look works best with it and now I'm going to take um, this crease brush and I'm going to go into the um I think it's showy I'll let you know it's um the hip duo right here with the blues and teal color the blue and teal color and I'm going to um put some on my um, crease brush and I'm just going to sweep it in the crease and a little bit on the outer V also. And I'm not, I'm not packing it on. It's going to be visible but and I'm blending it up. I'm um, taking it up to just under the brow bone. And that's it. I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Blend out the edges also. And pretty much that's it. And I'm going to put some of this. It's, um, I think it's, um, Max Blue Black. I had asked this girl for some sample and this is what she gave me. Like, there's nothing in there. This was from, I think, last year. Or the year, yeah, last, last year. She didn't even write the color on there. So she didn't really, she really didn't want to give me the sample, but I'm just gonna get a tad bit on the brush, just a little, and I'm gonna put it on the outer V. and just slightly sweep it in the crease, just slightly. I'm gonna get a little bit more from the cap. I'm just slightly, slightly, ever so slightly bringing it into the crease. And I'm just going to blend it out on the outer view right here. And I'm going to put some more of that um, gray, um, bog, bog gray, or bold gray, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go into this color, which I hate the scent, but I really like the color. Um, but the scent really throws me off, so I might throw it away. It smells like crayons, and I don't like that. It's this. It's a chrome. Yeah, chrome shadow from Naturalistics or whatever. I got it from the Dollar Store. And the color is chrome, and it is a true chrome color. And I'm going to put it um, in my tear duct area. And just take it right on the lower um, third of my lash line. I just blend it into the gray. And I'm also.
also going to highlight with it, but I'm not going to use too much. I'm just going to dab into it and, until I get and add it onto my lid until I get the right color or the right amount that I want on there. And I'm, I'm bl going to blend it with the blue color from the hip. It just gives the nicest sheen. I really like it, but I can't stand the scent. gorgeous shade. Very, very pretty shade. And that's it. Okay, I'm also going to take it, um, what I did, let me remove the tape. Um, I'm just going to blend out the corner so that it's not as sharp as it is right there. I'm just going to blend it out. Don't want that line, but I also want it to look a little bit um, crisp without having that line. Okay, so on the lower lash line, I'm gonna take um, the gray color. And I'm going to start it from right here where that chrome color is. And I'm going gonna, gonna to blend it and take it all the way past the middle of the eyelid or of the um, lash line. And then I'm going to take that teal color from the hip duo and I'm going to put it at the end right here. And just blend it um, with the gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, Dirty Plum Blush, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep because it's pretty, pretty close to um, Vintage Great. But anyway, that's besides the point. I am going to um, get some of the brush blush on the tip of my brush, and I'm going to contour with it. And I'm going to do a light contour. Then I'm going to take this Studio Tools brush, which I absolutely love for both blush and um, foundation. And I'm going to tap it in there probably like three times. And I'm going to go into um, By Candlelight. I absolutely love this as a highlighter. And I'm going to get some on the brush. Not too much. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the um, Gaga. And that's the um the Gaga. And okay, so that's the look. I don't know if you can tell if I have on a gray shadow or not. Um, I can't. Um, but the pictures will probably show a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. But that's the look. Um, blush, highlight, and the lips. I hope you guys like it. And what I have on my face um, is just some powder and a concealer. That's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, I'll, I'll be doing the requests that I got. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Enough love, y'all.